So let's talk about some products that are available and, and some little cheats along the way. Here, we've got the alternatives to flour, if you like. We've got flaxseed, uh, ground almonds, which use quite a lot, and coconut flour, and they're great for breads and making pastries and stuff. Then we've got a selection of different kind of um, alternatives to pasta, uh, skinny noodles, and what, all I can say about this is they are quite bland, so if you're going to use those, it's a good time to introduce like spices and herbs. We use dried ones because they're a little bit more intense. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. But they are, if you're in a pickle, they really do help you out. And then on the plate there, we've got some um, celeriac, great instead of potato. It's got less carbs in it. You can make mashed chips and crisps out of it. I'm going to show you that a bit later too. Um, you'll see a cauliflower there. If you grate that, it's a great alternative to rice. And then um, spring onions, also low in carbs compared to normal onions. So we use spring onions wherever we can. When using herbs and spices, we prefer to use dried, so we're not using so much of our carb allowance. And also, they're intensified in their flavour, so just a little pinch really kind of gives your dish a lift. And you can use spices in a wide variety of dishes. Um, you'll be surprised. We've got the, the usual cinnamon and the sweet spices for your baking, you know, in your egg custards and stuff like that. Cinnamon also, in a, if you're making a pork dish, maybe a pork casserole or something like that, uh, a little bit of cinnamon and some Moroccan spices works really, really well. If you're making little burgers, lamb springs to mind. You can use a bit of Italian seasoning. You can get some fat into that by adding cheese. Full fat feta cheese is really good or just some normal cheddar just to get the fat content up there. We've got some dried dill here, that's great with fish and fish fingers and stuff like that. We've got thyme, thyme with lamb as well springs to mind. But there are so many herbs and spices out there. Curry powder is fantastic. Um, I'm gonna use it later with some uh, celeriac chips that you'll see. And it just makes the food a little bit exciting. If you make it a little bit exciting and tasty, um, your children will find it much easier and more exciting to eat. So we've talked about spices, now I want to talk about artificial sweeteners, because you think it's all doom and gloom, no sugar, but there's so much help out there with these artificial sweeteners. This one here, this comes with your Matthew's Friend starter pack, um, free, and it's great for uh, sweetening all those things that you, you normally think you can't put sugar in, so your coffee and your custards, and just if you want a little splash of sweetness there, just add it. And then some wonderful flavoured syrups to help you out with those desserts. Put it in your custards, your crumbles, your cakes, uh, all, all those lovely things that you think you miss. Lots and lots of help. There are some um, granulated uh, artificial swingers out there, but be careful with them. There are a couple that are okay, but really read. And uh, like I've said before, before you change your product, always, always check with your dietitian. So we've gone from sweeteners to sweeties and low carb products. And they're out there, there's lots of them out there. But you have to be really, really careful, especially with the sweets and the sugar alcohols in them. So always read the label because they might not be suitable for your diet. Always check. And things like this pasta, it's a high protein pasta, but it may be too much protein for your diet. So again, always check with your dietitian, check what you're eating. And pork scratchings at the top there. A fantastic snack, make your own. So easy to make, you know exactly what's in it, you know where you are. <laughs>